This video is going to go over the basic setup of your project on AWS. So to start, we're going to go ahead and click on New Project. And this dashboard is going to automatically pop up at the top of your screen. So we're going to go ahead and add a project title. I'm going to call this Learning AWS. And then we're going to go ahead and click this little tiny arrow right here. And it's going to drop down some more information that we can fill in. So for a subtitle, I'm going to type Learning AWS for the first time. And then under that, you can see an option for an author. It automatically pulls your name from your profile. If you don't want to use that name, you can click this little button here and toggle back and forth. Um, and you can enter. If you just want your first name, you can just put that in um, or a nickname, whatever you want to call yourself. And then here under the description, this is just a little bit more information. So your title is what your project is called. Your subtitle kind of sets the tone for your project. And then your description gives the reader more information if they want to know more before they start reading. So I typed in a description there. And then... I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now right here there's Advanced Settings. If you click on that, it gives you the option to choose the date in which your project is published. You can choose a soundtrack or song to go with your project as people are reading through, and whether or not that starts right as the page opens, or later, or with a button, whether or not the soundtrack loops, tags, these advanced settings are not really necessary for this project, so we're not going to worry about them for now. Okay, now that dashboard disappeared, so we're going to click on this little gray box here, and it's going to pop back up. Over here on the right, we have three options. We have title design, navigation, and theme. These are pretty much the only design options that you have in creating AWS. Um, like I said in class, the AWS is great about creating really consistent design that allows you to just put your content in and not worry about having to make everything perfect because AWS will do it for you. But that being said, you do have a couple of options. So we're going to go ahead and click on title design. And as you can see, the simple title design is chosen now. So we're going to click on browse title designs and this little drawer is going to pop out from the left. And as we scroll down, you can see that there are several options to choose from as far as what the very front opening scene, if you will, is going to look like for your project. Um, you can change this later. So just pick one that you like, and then if it doesn't fit your content as you start putting it in, you can change it. I'm going to go with the nine ways, and then make sure you click use over here at the bottom. Otherwise. It's not going to save. And then you can either have your text be in the top left, top middle, top right, on and on and on. You have lots of options for that. So I'm going to go with bottom left. And then instead of an image, I'm actually going to do a color. So you can click on this little drop down menu and have an image, a color, or a video. We're going to go with color for this tutorial. I'm going to choose this nice purple. Actually, let's do the dark purple. And then make sure you click Save. Okay. Now we're going to click on the navigation. It's, there are two options for AWS as far as navigation. Um, navigation is how someone moves through your project. And for AWS, you can either scroll or paginate. So, for the scroll option, these are headings, and they are headings of chapters. So Loomings is a chapter, and then the text follows the chapter title, and then an image. And as you scroll down, there's a pull quote right here, and you keep scrolling. And Loomings 2, here's a second chapter, and then more text, more image, another quote, and on and on and on. So as many chapters as you have, They'll all line up underneath each other, and that's how the reader will go through your site. The other option is to have it paginate. So we're going to click on that option, 
And as you see, once again, we have the chapter title up here. And as you scroll down, there's text, there's image, there's a quote. And we're going to keep scrolling all the way to the bottom. And then it stops. I can't scroll anymore. But down here on the right is an arrow and a Lumings 2 option. This option is to go to the next chapter. So we're going to click on it. And voila, here we are, Lumings 2. And you scroll down. And then if there was another chapter, that would also pop up here. But there's not for this demo, so we're going to go back to chapter 1. So those are your two options. I'm going to choose the scroll option. And then you have some options for your table of contents. Your table of contents just lays out your chapters so that a reader can skip around between chapters and they don't have to scroll through everything or click through all the pages. So if you choose the scroll and you click on an option from your table of contents, it's going to jump to that option. If it's the page, it's going to jump to that page. Um, it can either be a left drawer, which means this little menu icon is going to pop up and then it's going to slide out, or it can be a top navigation bar. This gives you a whole um, top with social icons for sharing, um, this pops out to Adavist, and then it pops down from the top. So those are your two options. I'm going to go with the left drawer and the scroll, and then once again make sure that you hit save. There's also a couple of options for a theme. We're going to click on theme and browse visual themes. And here you can see little snapshots of what these are going to look like. So this is just your basic. Um, drop cap, title, and then as you can see they change as you go down. So I'm going to choose the Fisher one. And then it's going to give me a little preview and then choose use. You can also pick if you want indented paragraphs or spacing paragraphs. I don't know if it's going to show it. There you go. So this has a little indent or if you just want big spaces. And then you can also choose whether or not you want a drop cap or not. So I'm going to choose drop cap so you can see what it looks like. And it just makes this big letter at the beginning of each chapter. It's kind of nice. So I'm going to go with drop caps and spaces between paragraphs and then click save. And then if I click anywhere on this gray, oops, it should disappear. There you go. We have to click out of the gray, actually. And so there you go. And if we click preview, we can see what we just picked. So here you go. You can see this has to do with the theme. This font goes with the theme that I picked. Um, this layout goes with the title that I picked. And then I don't have any content, so there's nothing else that's going to show up. But my menu is over here. And these are this is my section, the only one that is created, because Adivis automatically creates it for you. And then we're going to go, you just X out of that window because it pops open a new tab, and we're back here. So that's how you get started. Um, stay tuned for another video on adding content.